you know, as a barber, your own tools are like your weapon of choice. You obviously adjust them to how you want them and you're just used to them. I guess it's like, I guess playing ball, you know, you don't want to use someone else's pair of kicks just to play ball because you're not used to them. They're not, they don't fit you. You can't just buy any random paintbrush and paint the way you've always been painting. So I feel like a barber's tools has to fit them. The connectedness of barbering between a dude and his barber is a, a tremendous privilege. If you look good, you feel good. So I kind of like that instant gratification feeling that I can help somebody out in the smallest way. And that social connectivity is such an exciting and satisfying uh, part of the role of barbering. Like having them look in the mirror with a big smile on their face puts a smile on mine and I feel good going home knowing that I made someone happy, you know? All right, what's going on? My name is Vince. Um, this is my shop, Capsule Barber Shop. And this is what I do, this is what I love. Well, I've been cutting for about 10 years now. It actually started off, I guess, like any other barber, you know, just cutting up friends and family. Well, to tell you the truth, I, I went to school for engineering. You know, midway through my uh, semester, I was, I don't know, I just didn't feel anymore. I got out of college and I just felt like, okay, I'd rather make less money and be happy than make more money and be miserable. And, you know, I just love cutting hair. You know, I love making everyone look fresh and clean and making them feel good. And, you know, after all these years, I finally got to up on my own. I kind of wanted to mix up between like old school and new school. So think of it as a time capsule. We offer hot towel shaves, you know, traditional old school hot towel shaves, as well as new haircuts, you know, the full hawks and the designs and all that. So something different. Well, yeah, growing up, I've always been like a perfectionist. And as a barber, that's, that's all you really want to be. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, your client's in there and they're sitting in the chair and they feel comfortable with you knowing that when, once they get out, it's exactly how they want it, even better. You know, I always wanted to open up a shop and not just have it as a neighborhood barber shop. I wanted more of a, like something where you can build a culture. I'm just excited and I, I just can't wait to see where we are like five, 10 years from now. Hi, I'm Mohawk Matt. I'm the founder of Bolt Barbers in downtown Los Angeles. I think everybody has a midlife crisis and I had worked my way up to the corporate ladder and left me tremendously unhappy. And from the time I was 15 years old, I always wanted to be a barber and open a barber shop. Well, the white collar never brought happiness. The craft of barbering does. Bolt Barbers is old school, but, but never old fashioned. Our three trademarks are shearing, shaving, and shining. That's shoe shining with a military spit shoe shine by Mr. Happy Feet. We always, from the get-go, wanted to be a third place for guys to hang out away from very defined roles they played at home and work slash school. We also, um, always thought of ourselves as moving the experience of getting your hair cut from an errand to something that was fun. Both barbers are truly barbers, and they're proud of being barbers. Probably the thing that I take most pride in and most satisfaction is the tribe that we've developed. It's not easy putting together a team of people, particularly that are working because they're passionate, we try to really create a very, you know, a very comfortable environment to just hang and, and really be yourself. Not to mention offering like really crisp, clean haircuts and making, making dudes look their best. My name is Vinny Mori from Los Angeles, California, and I own the proper barbershop with my business partner, Trent Mignano. When Trent and I built this shop, we built it solely with our clientele in mind. That's why our chairs face away from mirror, because we really want to be able to encourage people to talk with each other and like have camaraderie together and just kind of make this a men's clubhouse. When I got into barbering, I hung around a lot of older barbers and uh, it really translates into every, every aspect of your life. And I, I kind of feel like it's unanimous with any career, but I feel like barbers will take it to that extreme, you know what I mean, where they will 
go and put tattoos on their face or put tattoos on their, on their hands and their body because they really love their culture so much. And it's such an old tradition, what we do, and it's such an old craft that I think what better thing to put on me for the rest of my life than what I, you know, my passion is. What separates the proper from other barbershops, in my opinion, uh, is that we truly try to have everybody be part of our family. I don't know too many people that have gone from being like, oh, I'm this guy's barber to now I'm his roommate, or whatever the case may be, and we've had a lot of that go on here. The energy that this place has on any given day, on, in the afternoon when all six chairs are cutting, there's 10 guys waiting, and five of our friends are just hanging outside smoking cigarettes. Like They need like a man cave kind of to get away to, and we have that all day long here, you know? It's because it's so different than their normal day job. I think our work is awesome, and I think there are a million amazing barbers across the country. I think all of us are very dedicated to our craft, um, but I think that can be said for any shop. What can't be said is the family aspect of this actual place. I definitely think barbering is an art. It's not just a service. I feel that we're up there with tattoo artists and you know painters and just artists in general. You know, I, I describe myself as an artist and not just a barber. <laughs>